Dr. Sunny here with a culture lecture on culture and media. So we are going to look in this lesson at the relationship between culture and media. Think of communication, as we've discussed in the past, a means of learning appropriate behaviors and a way of interacting among group identities. So the first type of media I want you to think about is not probably what you were thinking about, and that is a human courier. Humans can be mediums, and intermediaries are often used for confrontations in cultures that want to avoid confrontation. So when I say human courier or intermediary, that means using another person as a medium, either to deliver your message um, or to transmit your message. And the purpose of these intermediaries is for you to avoid losing face by having a confrontation or conflict with someone else that you're communicating with. Next up, let's look at the telephone. And really, the whole purpose of this is to give you perspective on how things have changed. So in 2017, um, and I'm making this video in 2022, so five years ago, there were 984 million landline telephones. That was down by a billion from the previous, uh, excuse me, the previous count. And when we look at the telephone, one of the things we want to think of is when we have a voice interaction on a telephone, there is a lack of contextual clues. You can hear what the person's saying. You can hear paralanguage such as changes in their tone and voice, but you cannot see their nonverbal communication. And increasingly, as you well know, there is less and less use of telephones as a form of media. Next up, something we all know and love, the internet. Since the 1990s, over 4 billion people served worldwide. Uh, there are two and a half times more internet users in China versus the United States. And half of the world's population now has internet access. That seems low to me still, but that's actually the number. Originally, the language of the internet was English. Now, internet language is about 58% English. Can you guess the next biggest groups? Russian at 8% and Spanish at 4%. Technology is supporting the use of local languages worldwide. For example, Google Translate, which has 100 languages that can be translated in Chrome so you can view a website in another language but understand it in your own. And another way that technology is supporting this development in culture and media is culturally specific design. So for example, the use of white space and negative space is valued in many cultures in the design of internet content. Next, we move on to social media, and this is media that enables us to interact socially with other people online. There are many internet-based platforms, as you, I'm sure, know, including Facebook, which has 2 billion users and has also led to Facebook with those high user numbers being called a form of digital colonialism. So think about this in the context of Facebook giving free internet access to people in Africa. Um, if that is how you get internet and Facebook's your primary social media, then that is a form of colonialism that is going to change your culture and your communication. I thought this slide was fun looking at internet use by country. So you can see here 68% of people in the Middle East use social media, 59% use social media in Latin America, 55% Europe, 40% Germany, and 39% in Japan. Social media enables us to interact socially with those people online, as I said previously, but let's look at some of the specific platforms that are used. So this is current as of 2020, and these are the top social media platforms in the order of popularity worldwide. Number one, Facebook, YouTube, the WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, WeChat, which isn't very popular here in the States, Instagram, TikTok, QQ, which I had never heard of, QZone, which I've never heard of, uh, Sina Welbo, which I had never heard of, Reddit, which I love, Snapchat, Twitter, and of course, 
if you're into home design, Pinterest. So it's interesting to see these top networks. And when we have our Western perspective, we don't even know some of these. And that just goes to show you how many diverse users of social media there are worldwide. Here are some vocabulary terms you should be reviewing. And this is the end of this lecture.